What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Got to get out my official prediction. A lot of fights coming up this weekend, so let me plow through these. Timothy Bradley versus Diego Chavez. I want to talk about that particular fight in this video. And it's a good fight. It's a fight where both fighters are technically coming off a loss. Diego Chavez was obviously controversial. He fought Brandon Rios, and it was a disqualification. And Timothy Bradley lost to Manny Pacquiao. Now, I consider Timothy Bradley to be an elite level fighter, great fighter, lots of skill, lots of heart, good chin. He showed you that in the Ruslan Provotnikov fight. Um, I thought versus Pacquiao in the rematch, he looked real good in the first half, but trying to force a knockout or whatever he was trying to do, it exasperated too much energy from him. So he, he tended to gas out a bit more and he just looked drained and tired. He said he got injured as well, another leg injury. He just he didn't have it the second half where Pacquiao um, paced himself a bit more. Timothy Bradley is not the most threatening puncher, so he weathered the early storm. There was one good shot early where Pacquiao got lifted up off the canvas a bit, I think by a right hand from Bradley. And anyway, Pacquiao weathered that storm, and then he just started to capitalize. And you had a tired Bradley. Pacquiao was boxing good, caused him to miss a lot, and the rest is history. I thought Pacquiao won that particular fight. But to lose to a Pacquiao, really no shame in it. Pacquiao's a great fighter, and that's one loss. Some people say two, if you consider the first Bradley-Pacquiao fight a loss. I'm not going to get into that in this video. Then you have Diego Chavez. Good fighter. He, to my uh, opinion, he gave Keith Thurman one of his best fights to date. And that was a real competitive fight where you actually had to see an adjustment made from Keith Thurman, someone who's used to taking guys out with power. And he was able to take Diego Chavez out late, but it took time. He had to actually work for that, and he had to actually do some adjusting, which is something I like to see from young fighters like Keith Thurman. And that was a good fight. And then the I thought he was up on the scorecards, on my scorecard, versus Brandon Rios. Brandon Rios looked pretty sluggish in there, didn't look the same. There were some dirty tactics on behalf of both fighters, and now we have this fight. So props to both fighters. I would say props to Diego Chavez just from not being from the States and constantly coming out to the States. He fought in San Antonio, I want to say it was, versus Keith Thurman. He fought Brandon Rios at Las Vegas, and now he's coming back to Las Vegas. So anytime you deal with a hostile crowd, it's admirable because... Again, he could fight in Argentina if he wanted to, but he's coming out to try to upset these guys, the favorites or whatever you want to call it, and um, that's always commendable to me when you travel, when you're a road warrior, and that's what Diego Chavez is. Props to Timothy Bradley because he has one of the deepest resumes in or around his division in boxing. He's fought tons of guys from Ruslan Provotnikov to Pacquiao twice. He fought Devin Alexander, who's also fighting this weekend. He fought virtually everybody that was of relevance that needed to happen, minus like a Floyd Mayweather or Amir Khan. So I like Bradley's resume and his, his ability. As far as the fight, I'm picking Timothy Bradley to win via, I want to say, unanimous decision. I think this fight is going to be as hard as Timothy Bradley makes it. If he goes out there with a chip on his shoulder like he did versus Pacquiao, it could be a dog fight and it could be a tougher fight. You don't want to sleep on a guy like Diego Chavez who probably realizes that after all these opportunities that he's getting, he's not going to really have many more opportunities if he doesn't have a good showing. And he might not have any more if he loses, especially if he loses bad or, you know, I mean, gets dominated. So you got You can't underestimate a guy like that. I don't think the guy is, is so far gone where he just – someone I consider shop worn. He's still a, a legitimate threat for anybody with the wrong game plan. I don't imagine that Timothy Bradley is going to come out fighting stupid. I think he realizes he's off a loss. He kind of buried the hatchet with the Pacquiao fight. Just a lot of things happened leading up to the Ruslan Provotnikov fight. He said he was getting death threats and he had a chip on his shoulder from the Pacquiao backlash of him quote unquote winning the, the first fight. So I think he, he's He's matured a little bit past that. I don't see him disrespecting his coach, Joel Diaz, again by coming out and fighting a reckless fight. But one thing you got to you gotta keep in mind, Bradley's a man's man. So sometimes when the going gets tough, he, he tends to brawl 
when he should box. He, he kind of mixes that up. But I think overall, Timothy Bradley is very solid. He's tough. He showed you he has a chin. And to me, he has a better footwork, better boxing technique. That is why I'm picking him. Again, he still has to fight a good, smart fight. But he was able to do that versus Juan Manuel Marquez. And he did it convincingly. And to me, Marquez is perhaps more of a danger. Because I don't consider Diego Chavez, I know he can crack. But I don't consider his power to be at a Ruslan's level. You know what I mean? Ruslan at 147, it looked like he had tremendous power. And Bradley ate the punch flush. You know what I mean? And didn't get knocked out, which is incredible. Because other guys probably would have got knocked out from that same shot from Ruslan. Um... Diego Chavez has power. He can crack. But I don't know if he has the, the level of pure power. Like, I've seen guys after they fought Ruslan, even if they beat him and their face is mangled. You know what I'm saying? Diego Chavez has good power. Like, res- like you're going to respect it. You're not going to just walk into power shots. But it's it's a little bit different from Ruslan. And then you look at the brain of Marquez, who, to me, is one of the greatest counterpunchers currently actively fighting. And he was able to weather both of those storms. So I really don't see what Diego Chavez is going to present that gets him the stoppage or gets him the win over Timothy Bradley. I just, you know what I mean? But again, if Bradley fights stupid, then he's susceptible. Because a lot of Argentine fighters, they fight with an unorthodox, like, they throw from weird angles and, and shit. They throw the punches different. Maybe it's the schooling out there. Or whatever. But I, I just I feel Bradley's gonna look sharp. He's gonna be back to regular Bradley. He's not fighting Pacquiao, so he, he shouldn't have really any chips on his shoulder. He he seems like he's made amends with whatever happened in the Pacquiao saga. And I think he's looking to get back on top. And he's a hard guy to beat. Andre Ward said it himself, those those two fought in the amateurs. Andre Ward said that was his toughest fight. That's the toughest fight that he fought in the amateurs. That's something Andre Ward, who we also recognize as a great pound-for-pound pound fighter, said when they fought. And I think Bradley's willingness to win, his desire to win, his hunger, I think is still there. I don't think he's been in so many wars or anything to the point where he won't win this particular fight. So I'm picking, again, Timothy Bradley to win it via unanimous decision. I think Bradley's going to go out there and box beautifully, and he showed you that in the Marquez fight. He didn't really make big, huge mistakes like he did in the Ruslan Provotnikov fight. And that's what you gotta give credit to Bradley for. Bradley almost reinvented himself. And I'm not trying to bully or pick on certain people, but if you watch Brandon Rios or somebody like that who's considered more one dimensional, I like Bam Bam too. But if you watch him fight, Brandon Rios's MO is virtually the same in every fight. Whether he's fighting Pacquiao or Alvarado, he comes forward and you don't really see new tricks up his sleeve. It's just like, I'm going to break you down, attrition. I'm going to take shots to give shots. That's his his MO. Versus Bradley, he fought a type of way with an injury versus Pacquiao in the first fight. Blew up in weight. Fought Ruslan Provotnikov. Fought a dumb fight and was able to man up and um, outbox Ruslan in the middle rounds to, to win that particular fight. Then the very next fight, he comes back and fights a legend like Juan Manuel Marquez, and he outboxes a master class counterpuncher and boxer. And then he fights Pacquiao, and he kind of came out with a different, like, kind of gung ho, I'm going to bring it to Pacquiao type of look. So to me, that shows you how dynamic Bradley is. He's able to adjust from just from the Rusin fight where he fought stupid to fighting the polar opposite, a guy you can't make mistakes with, like Marquez. So I just really don't see Diego Chavez winning this fight this guy has showed you that he can adjust he can adapt and fight different ways Diego Chavez he's a good solid guy but he's been in wars and he's been he's he's, you know I mean he's been in bangers of a fight and Bradley's not the person who's just Bradley showed good footwork in the Marquez fight you know I'm saying he's not gonna just stay there and allow you to to drill him with hard shots and then Bradley's usually really good with responding, too. Terrence Crawford did it as well versus Ray Beltran. I got to see that one live. And when Ray Beltran landed something good, it's like certain guys like Bradley and 
Crawford, they want to immediately get back. They want, you know what I mean? They want to immediately respond to whatever you did to nullify that so the judges don't just say, oh, I give that round to Diego Chavez because he clipped Bradley. They want to immediately embarrass you back. So overall, I think Bradley is just superior in most categories except for power. And I don't think power alone is, is going to do the job. And it didn't do the job versus Ruslan. So I don't see Diego Chavez doing much more unless Bradley fights a dumb fight. Let me know what you guys think of my prediction. Timothy Bradley via unanimous decision. Are you on my side? Do you disagree? If so, why? Why not? Drop me a comment. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like my video. As always, hate, comment, or subscribe. Till next video's Ego, signing off. Mm -hmm.